and sit down. Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for watching. Um, if you are new here, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Um, today I'm fixing the memory functions on my passenger seat. In the previous episode, everything else on the interior done, was done with the seats. They're all in and working. The driver's memory function was working absolutely perfectly. But today we fix the passenger seat. So these switches down here, they didn't do anything. You could press the button and it didn't light up. Um, <clears throat> what you saw. It works so i'm gonna run you through that it gets a little bit dark because it gets a little bit late um but happy days it's all working um, and i also do some other little things you probably saw a sneak peek so it's not gonna be a glamorous video this one i'm literally just fixing up the the memory seats on the passenger side of things because i couldn't get them working before um so uh the car that came with all the seats that came with the car didn't have memory seats um, originally so i've had to um, buy another little um, connector from ebay and there's three wires, there's a power and a ground, and there's a, a bus connection. So I haven't showed you, but basically you take the bus connection, so there's a wire that goes up to the um, the passenger uh, mirror. Uh, I forget the color, I'll throw up the wiring diagram, but you basically you connect that up and I'll show you the pinouts and everything. Um, and then basically that's all connected up and you can check that you're getting power come through to it. But um, just because you've got it connected, it's not gonna work. You still have to do some programming. So I was scratching around and um, uh, I posted a few comments trying to get somewhere and I actually had someone uh, reach out to me um, saying, you know, commenting on my previous video about fitting the seats, they're going through the same thing. And he's pointing me in the right direction. We're, we're nearly right. But um, anyway, shout out to um, John. Thank you very much, mate. You've, you've um, helped me out. I've worked it out. Uh, you've probably got the text already. So basically what you need to do is... Um, it's a coding thing again, surprise, surprise, apart from the wiring, it's a bloody coding thing. So um, I had a conflict in the system. So although I had the multifunction seats in there, I also had something that said I only had um, driver seat memory. So you have to remove the driver seats and then away you go. Um, and driver, you remove the driver seats, that's not right. So you basically have to remove the driver seat function and then away you go. So um, by doing that, you'll go through. So I'll bring you through the process of doing that. So what you have to do is, you read the FA, you uh, activate it, you come into edit, um, you right click on your FA, uh, you calculate your FP, I don't know if this is focusing again, this will give you your vehicle options, you open up your salper elements, oh if I can do this, and then this down here in this box, it's probably not even going to focus is all the cell elements and then what you want to do is um, remove option 459 so the options i have added now are uh, 488 494 it's really really not going to focus on this is it 488 494 and 4ma and importantly i've taken away 459 so 459 if I stick it in, let me add 459 and show you what it says. So if I add 459 here, 459, just like that, and then calculate FP. So it's a valid option because it's taken it. If I come into the option car now, scroll down 459, seat adjustment, electric memory, driver front no mention of the passenger and it was that that was causing the problem so it had memory for the front driver's seat but it had no memory for the passenger seat so you take 459 out so you literally come into here remove 459 so if let me go back 459 where are you where are you take away that 459 apply that recalculate Calculate FP, go into the options, oh, it's great doing this later night isn't it, nothing functions, so 459 is gone now, then you have to go through the same process as before, so you go into expert mode, you um, you code that and then you have to code, or well, you save the FA to the car and then you have to code the modules, so code FRM, JBBF and CAS and really importantly code SM6E. SM60 is the passenger seat, and then you get everything working. 
Once again, shout out to John Schroer. Thank you very much, mate. You're pointing me in the right direction. I don't think I'd have um, bothered to look at this if you hadn't um, said something. So appreciate it, mate. Um, owe you a beer. Passenger memory seat's fixed. Bonus. You see how dark it is? It's half past ten and I'm sitting in my car coding. This is ridiculous. Literally the only thing that's not working in here from functionality wise is the windows. Um, I'm going to do something with these interior trims as well because I'm not sure I like the silver. Um, put it all back together and then move on to the engine. because I need to get behind to fix the glove box but that's what it's going to look like get away from the um, marked up silver that everyone has and I think that contrasts really nicely with the seats so I'm going to get the rest of the door cards done get them in uh, and then we can crack on it's starting to look good isn't it when everything worked eh that'd be great <laughs> So this is the Hexius Forged Carbon and I know um, some of you might have seen me do this on my X5M as well. Um, this was like a, a, a cross hatch. You can probably see the texture behind it. It's got like a thing. I might pick up a picture of it. Um, <clears throat> but it's all marked and it's all scored and you know I've got two sets of it because obviously I had the replacement door cards. Let's look at the Ooh. latest track. Turn that off. Um, I've got two sets of them um, because, apart from the dash, uh, because I had replacement door cards, but they were all absolutely scratched up and marks and looked horrible. So I thought, I've still got some forged carbon wrap left over. I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm considering what to do with the centre console. I quite like the leather. Um, I don't know whether to do it the same as that. I don't know whether that'll be step too far. Um, I don't know, you guys tell me. Um, I've got enough left to do it. It'll just be a bit of a pain to go through and, and wrap it all. What I might do is just wrap this bit. I don't know if I can take this apart. I might just wrap that little bit of the, the gear selector in it to make it look a bit different. I don't know. But I want to probably get this just refinished in the leather so it's all nice. But it's all in. It's all done. What do you guys think? It's in the back as well. Like I say, if you... If you didn't watch it, go back and have a look at when I did my X5M. There's my X5M. That's got it in there as well. Um, and what we're going to do... This is all now finished. I just need to sort out these windows. But I'm going to come back to them. I'm pretty sure that's the FRM module. Um, everything else in here is working. Um, I should say I've probably got some loose connections in the back. Because when I go to the sat-nav, that's nowhere near where I live. Um, and <clears throat> intermittently the radio cuts in and out as well so I think someone's probably had all this out while they're trying to do some other stuff and um, haven't plugged stuff back in properly that's what I'm hoping otherwise I've got a bit more of an issue but anyway so if you found this useful thank you very much for sticking around so you probably know what's watching at this point um, thanks for sticking around if you found this useful hit a like and subscribe for us that would help us immensely if you haven't already um and um yeah moving on to the bonnet so thank you very much for sticking around still haven't got a hash brown still watching somebody anybody shiv you out there give us a hash brown um all right cheers guys see you at the bonnet next time mm -hmm.